Hello and welcome to this Cartoon Smart video tutorial. My name is Brian Zakowski and we are talking about Adobe Illustrator CS5 and I've entitled the series Exploring Adobe Illustrator CS5. Today we're going to talk about the preference uh, in Illustrator called um, Disable Auto Add Delete. So if you don't already go ahead and create a new document and whatever it's set at is fine. Go ahead and choose that. It's not important for this video. I'm going to go ahead and cancel it because I already have an open document. So I'm going to open or drag up the document that I already have um, open here. And you'll notice we have a guest. And this is a bug that it created for a cartoon uh, not too long ago. And incidentally, I'm a cartoonist, and some of my cartoons, or most of my cartoons, can be found here at DementedDenizens.com if you're interested in taking a look. Right. But this video is not about that. This video is about the Disable Auto Add Delete option. So um, on a Mac, if I go under Illustrator, Preferences, you go ahead and open the General. If you're in Windows, it's going to be under your Edit menu. So I'm going to go over to General. And my, in my Preferences panel, you'll see that right over here there is a Disable Auto Add Delete option. And this uh, refers to the pen tool when drawing with the pen doesn't say that I know it should should be more descriptive because I was baffled by this particular option for a while and I didn't know what it did but now that I do I can go ahead and show you okay so we're gonna leave that unchecked for now and if I take my pen tool I can start creating a shape with with that now before I go ahead and deselect that you'll notice that um, all the places that I have touched as I was going around creating the object um, is an anchor point which um, is open to editing by the direct selection tool but for now um, with the standard pen tool um, open um, if I hover over any of those points that I created while making this object I have the option to go ahead and delete it or add it. You'll see the little plus symbol next to the pen or if I click on an existing anchor point, the negative symbol, which would allow me to go ahead and delete that. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm going to have to go, blah, sorry, create a rectangle to show you the subtracting of it. Because if I go ahead and do that, you might not really get the gist of what was going on there. If I go ahead and do that, oh, well, maybe you can see it. But if I go ahead and create something, well, we'll say. Uh, this rectangle there. If I go ahead and delete that and delete that, it's more obvious. Okay, now go back over to the rounded shape, and I can still go ahead and delete that point. But if I go ahead and create another one, just hover the pen tool right over the stroke, and when it turns into a little plus symbol, you can go ahead and create a new anchor point on that object. Right, anywhere I want. Now if I go ahead and take my direct selection tool which is the the white of the two arrows up here now you have access to all the points that you just created. So that is how it works when when that option is not checked. Let's go over to a uh, our preferences go back to general and let's go ahead and disable that and click OK now we'll go back and create um, create a shape maybe with some angles and and some rounded parts as well now now you'll notice that when I hover over at the point any of the points that I just created it's not going to allow me to actually subtract that because no little negative symbol uh, pops up when I do that. And if I click over the stroke, or the path, I'm sorry, it doesn't give me the, um, the little plus symbol either, so I can't create um, a new uh, point there. If I do, it's just going to allow me to start a new object. If I create right over the anchor point that's already existing, same thing. I'm just going to give the option or get the option to go ahead and create a new object. So that pretty much is an explanation of what that means 
in Preferences, the Disable Auto Add Delete option. So I hope this was useful to you, and uh, uh, thank you so much for watching. For CartoonSmart.com, I am Brian Zakowski.